In this video, we will demonstrate how to set up the ArcScan Bluetooth label printer on a Windows computer. To get started, we need to make sure that the printer is powered on with a blue light on top. You will not need to attach the provided USB cable to your computer for this installation. Let's begin by opening a web browser and going to the website arcscan.com slash driver. To download the print driver, click on the Windows drop-down list and then click on the download standard driver for Windows link. Depending on your browser, the download status will show in different locations. Chrome is in the bottom left. Firefox is the top right. Edge is also in the top right. After the completion of downloading the file, click in the browser to open the file or go to your download folder and double click to open the file 2054A Siegel printer driver. Once the installer is opened, accept the terms. Next. Next again. Uncheck the Read Instructions box. Click Finish. A Windows Warning dialog may pop up at this point, or it could blink in your taskbar. It may also ask you to type in your computer's username and password. Or you can just hit Yes to continue installation. At this next step, choose Next, at this point, if you see this prompt instead of this one, most likely the printer's USB cable is attached to your computer and it is not needed for Bluetooth installation. Please select the back button and resume installation with the video. Choose Bluetooth, then click the Add Device Wizard button. Windows will begin searching for Bluetooth devices. Once the ArcScan printer appears, click to highlight it and then click Next. If the printer does not appear, try turning the printer's power off and on again. Also, make sure the printer is close enough to your computer for the Bluetooth signal to reach. It is recommended that it be within at least 30 feet. In the passcode prompt, enter the numbers 0000, zero, zero, zero. Next, next again. In this window, please find and highlight the ArcScan 2054K printer. Then click OK. Scroll down the list and choose 4 barcode 4B 2054K. Click Next. For the printer name, you can leave it as the default or give it a name that you prefer. I am going to name mine ArcScan 2054K Bluetooth. And if you want to make this your default printer, then check this box. I'm going to leave it blank. Next, Finish. Lastly, click Close. The driver is now installed for your ArcScan label printer. Just a few more things before we finish. In the Windows search box or magnifying glass, depending on your version of Windows, start typing the word printer and printers and scanners will appear. Click on the icon. In the printers and scanners list, you will see two ArcScan printers listed. One of them says driver unavailable, and it is different from the name that we assigned the printer a moment ago. This is not the printer that we will use to print, but it is essential for proper operation that this listing does not get removed or renamed. Let's click on the printer name we created a few steps ago. Mine is here as ArcScan 2054K Bluetooth. Click on manage, Printing Preferences, Page Setup tab, Advanced Options, Driver Options at the top. Click the checkbox next to Disable User Defined Page Size. Click Apply, then OK. 
Under stock name, select the 4x6 size. Apply and OK. This will set the driver for printing 4 inch by 6 inch labels. Now that the printer and driver are ready, we can test print a sample 4x6 label by clicking on this link or by going to arcscan.com slash sample. Make sure you have run the printer calibration before printing. See the link below on how to run printer calibration. Let's print a 4x6 sample shipping label. There are different ways to print depending on which web browser you are using. In Chrome, you can click on the printer icon in the top right. Edge also has a printer icon in the top right. Firefox, you can click on the icon or go up to File and choose Print. Now that we have the print dialog open, let's first verify that ArcScan is selected as the printer. In paper size 4x6, fit to printable area, or adjust scale percentage to fit, usually it's 100%. Now we can hit print and verify. If a single label printed and fills up the entire label, your printer works properly. The printer may go into sleep mode after being idle for too long, and it may not be detectable by Windows. If this happens, please restart the printer by turning the power off and on again to wake up the printer. And if you want guidance on setting up how to print with a particular printing platform, visit this link to see more information.